Have you ever been to a block party? Okay, maybe it was a cul-de-sac or park party, maybe even a family reunion at the beach, but a time when you've gathered with people you know really well to others that you've just met or at least haven't seen in a while, with music playing, good food, fun games, and a party atmosphere, smiles all around. <laughs> everyone is having a good time, but when the party's over, everyone goes back to their lives, where life doesn't always feel like a party. I don't wanna be a downer, but life can be hard. Sure, we put on a smile for the party, for the PTA meeting, the church service, but we go home to bills, helping with homework, family struggles, whatever life is throwing at us. When we think about the lives behind the faces of our neighbors and family at the block party, we start to realize that most of the people we know and meet could use a bit of help. It's all too easy to stay focused on our needs and struggles, but what would happen if we looked past the smiling faces at the party and saw the needs behind them? February is actually a great time of year to think about others, their needs, and how we might be able to help. That's why we're taking this month to help kids discover more about how we can show compassion, caring enough to do something about someone else's need. As we learn more about compassion, we see that it's at the very heart of God and how God wants us to respond to the world around us. We see this in our memory verse for the month, Micah 6, 8. The Lord has shown you what is good. He has told you what he requires of you. You must act with justice. You must love to show mercy and you must be humble as you live in the sight of your God. Compassion is about demonstrating justice, love, mercy, and humility as we show others God's amazing love for them. And each week this month, we take our cue from Jesus, how he lived and what he taught us about living lives of compassion. In week one, we discover Jesus's mission statement. In Luke four, we look at the moment after Jesus returns from being tempted in the wilderness. Jesus goes to the synagogue and reads a passage from Isaiah about the promised Messiah. Jesus goes on to say that he is the one sent to fulfill those things written in Isaiah, bringing freedom, healing, and hope to all people. Kids will learn how we're called to carry on Jesus' mission to the world. Bottom line, following Jesus means caring about others. Then in week two, we get insight from a story in John where Jesus talks with a woman from Samaria. Samaria was a region that the Jews in Jesus' time tried to avoid, but rather than walking around this region, Jesus takes his disciples straight through it and stops at Jacob's well. He speaks with a Samaritan woman and completely changes how she understood the Messiah and what God is doing in the world. She goes and spreads the news about Jesus to all the people she knew. All people matter to Jesus and they should matter to us too. We should do what we can to show compassion to others. Bottom line, show others that they matter. Then in week three, we return to a familiar story found in John six. People had been clamoring to see Jesus heal and perform miracles. Even as Jesus crossed over the Sea of Galilee, they followed him. When Jesus saw them, he didn't ignore them or send them away. Instead, Jesus knew that they were tired and hungry. He had compassion for them and decided to feed them. With no food in sight, a young boy offers his meal of bread and fish. Jesus takes what the boy has and feeds the multitude with leftovers. When it comes to how we can help, we may not think we have much. This story reminds us that God can use whatever little we have to help others in big ways. Bottom line, use what you have to help others. And week four, we finish up with Mark 10 with Jesus' encounter with Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus was blind. Because of this, he was often ignored by those who passed him. When he learns that Jesus is passing, he calls out for help. Rather than walking past and getting on with his day, Jesus takes time to stop and help Bartimaeus. Jesus knew that Bartimaeus had faith and healed him, changing his life forever. The bottom line is simple. Make time to help others. This month, we love for kids and families to think about the people in their neighborhood, those they know and those they haven't met yet. What has God given them that they could use to help someone else? We pray that kids find a purpose bigger than themselves and become the sorts of people ready to show compassion and throw block parties for those who need to know how much God loves them. <laughs>